Hey everyone, Kyle here again at the Studebaker National Museum. Uh, I'm coming at you from the AM General Atrium this time, not locked away in the basement. So um, thank you so much for joining us. So I am so excited to uh, show you uh, one of the museum's newest acquisitions. Uh, this is a, the number 34 Bonnie Dune Special Midget Race Car, um, which we didn't know until relatively recently that this car existed. Um, so very surprising, but kind of an amazing thing that we have. Uh, and before I get into the history of this car, I want to talk just really briefly about the history of midget racing as a motorsport, in case you were unfamiliar. Uh, so it goes all the way back to 1933. Um, we can actually date it uh, to a time and a place. Um, and it was Hugh Stadium in Los Angeles hosted the very first uh, midget car race. Uh, became so popular uh, over the next couple of years, they built um, another stadium called Gilmore Stadium nearby in Los Angeles. And it kind of exploded from there. Uh, and from, you know, from those first couple of years, you see uh, a, a new organization, a midget car you know, racing organization form, um, and, and again, races competitions all over the country. There was uh, several, especially in, in big venues like Chicago's uh, Soldier Field, way before the Bears ever played there, hosted uh, race, you know, car races there. Uh, and so in the late 1940s, you saw tens of thousands of people come to these races and watch these cars battle it out um, against each other. All right, so let's take a look at this car. So the Bonnie Dune Special, again, number 34, um, participated pretty extensively in the midget race car circuit um, starting in the late 1940s. It was built around 1947 by a gentleman named W.C. Uh, Barney Barnum uh, of Mishawaka, Indiana. Um, you may have heard, or maybe you haven't, uh, of Bonnie Dunes. Uh, that was a, a local ice cream shop um, company, uh, and they sponsored uh, this car and the race uh, and the drivers. And so that's where we get the name, Bonnie Dunes Special. Um, and so again, it, very popular sport. This particular car is powered by a, a Studebaker Champion um, six-cylinder inline engine. It's a pretty popular choice for a lot of these midget racers. It was fairly compact, um, so you could fit it in the car, but also very powerful, right? Um, and you needed a powerful engine to really get these things moving, and it was a very fast, very dynamic sport. Um, interestingly enough, as you can probably imagine, also very dangerous, right? Um, so there were quite a few accidents. This is also an era before safety features that you'll, you'll see on more modern midget race cars. Um, there's no roll cage and other functions uh, or other systems that might keep the driver a, a little safer. So um, we have several photos we can show you too of some of these races. You can see just how dangerous it might have been for the drivers. So many famous drivers, again, did drive this particular car, um, primarily in the late 1940s and the 1950s. Um, we, I found a great newspaper article in September 1949, you can see it here. A um, gentleman by the name of George Tickenor drove this car to uh, uh, the championship at Chicago Soldier Field. Um, it was a 100 lap, 25 mile race, and he did that in 28 minutes and I believe 48 seconds, which is pretty, pretty good. So um, later on, uh, another driver named Rex Easton um, placed, I think, third overall in the national midget standings in 1953. Um, so this car was, was in a lot of these races, mostly in the Midwest and a couple of other places. Um, but again, we're so lucky to have this here. Um, again, we did not know it existed until recently. Um, discovered there were two brothers here, um, local, native to, to South Bend, who restored this car, Bob and Don Tarwaki. And we think about the 1990s, early 2000s, uh, and they did a terrific job. And again, we're very, very lucky to have this car. So please come down and see it uh, in person. Um, it's one of a kind and uh, part of our collection here now at the museum. Um, so again, come visit us soon. Thank you so much for joining us. Do you know